Good evening. I hope that your week is going well. I hope that you are having a good end to your day, whether it's uh, supper time, you're prepping that, you've had supper, um, whatever the case may be, I invite you to, uh, sorry, my, my connection was going to move myself in the church here. I hope that you're doing well. So I invite you to stop your scrolling for a minute and I just breathe. Take some time to hear God's word, to take a deep breath, and to know that you are a beloved child of God where you are. Wherever that is in your day, wherever that is in your week, I invite you into a time of reflection and prayer. I'm going to read a little bit of the gospel text that we heard in worship on Sunday. If you weren't able to join us, I hope that you were able to find it on Facebook later. This is from John chapter 6, beginning in verse 30. So they said to Jesus, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The kids are running around the church too. They said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Well, how often do we say that? God, give us what we need. Give us what we need. Give us what we think we need. What we maybe don't see that we already have. Now, I know that um, things like daily bread, having what you need, they're often things that we in the, the affluent Western world take for granted because we often have more than we need. We often have an excess. But we also often mistake that excess for sometimes the stuff that's most important, the stuff that's most needed. When the bread Jesus is talking about is not that accumulation of things. It's not that pantry full of food even. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Thank you for the hug. What Jesus is saying there is about things that fill up our spirits. That's what Pastor Dirk was getting at on Sunday when he shared the sermon when we had our joint service with the Spirit of Christ. So I invite you to reflect now on those things that maybe you haven't been, I don't know, thinking about uh, recently, but those things that fill you up. Maybe it's simple things. Maybe it's like hugs from certain little people around you. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Maybe it's just the fact that you do have enough to eat. A comfortable place to sit. A good friend to talk to. Those simple things that are, seem so simple when we have them, but we often forget about. And when we don't have them, we realize how much we need them. Take a moment to express gratitude for that. And finally, You have the bread of life. Jesus Christ is for you, where you are as you are. God's grace and love and mercy meets you. We often hear that um, in church and online devotions like this, read it, what have you. But we often don't sort of stop and rest in it. So I invite you tonight to rest in the fact that you are loved by God 
that that bread of life is for you, where you are right now. So whatever is, is hunger in your soul may be filled this week. Wherever you are thirsting for, may you know that God satisfies that desire. So in the, in the busyness and craziness of it all, um, in the giggles of rambunctious kids or maybe the quiet of a house too, know that you are met by God's love. So receive the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you where you are. May you be moved by God's spirit to love and serve the people around you and to give thanks for them. And may you remember that this bread of life is for you and with you always. The grace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks for stopping your scroll. Um, I hope the rest of your day and week goes well. God's peace to you and good night. Bye-bye.